All right, here we go. Power functions. Whoa. There we are. Now what happened? All right. Let's try this again. Boom. Boom. Okay, power functions. So we're going to do power functions and talk about variation a little bit. Um, and we're going to look at their graphs and modeling with them. So any function written as k times x to the a power, where k is basically the constant of variation. It's a number like 4 or 0.5 or 3 fourths, okay? And a is a number like 2, 3, 8, 7, 1 half, okay? So a is a power, it's a number. K is a number, but X is a variable, okay? X is a variable. So, F of X equals A to the power of X with the constant proportionality in front, okay? So, on this one, how would you rewrite this one so it's not having a radical involved, what would its power be? X to the one-fourth power, okay? Is this a power function then? Is it a, does it have, what is its, um, uh, um, coefficient here? It is one. The coefficient is 1, so it's 1x to the 1 fourth, okay? 1x to the 1 fourth, all right? So, it would probably go like that fairly flat. And there's a graph of it, okay? Kind of like what I said. All right. When there's just one term, it's called a monomial function, okay? Graphing a monomial function is just like graphing a power curve, okay? So, if we know what x cubed looks like, if we have 3x cubed, then it's just stretched upward and downward three times, okay? It's three times higher, three times lower than the normal x cubed curve. Okay, so graphs of power curves, okay, um, when x is a negative number, um, it's really hard to graph it. If it's an even number, all right, so I'm not even going to worry about that stuff because we'll get into graphs of it. In a little bit. All right, let me jump to here, to here. Pre calc. All right. So if we look at graphs, y equals 2x squared. Okay. What's the parent function of that graph? Yeah. The parent function is y equals x squared. We all know that y equals x squared is 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 4, negative 1, 1, negative 2, 4. Okay? This is the parent function. So, anytime we have an x squared, 
we can go over one, up one, over two, up four. Okay? So if I would have like x squared minus two, then everything would shift down by two, but I'm still over one, up two, over two, up four. Okay? When I place a number, a coefficient in the front, okay, all that does is it doesn't change um, the x value, changes the y value. So if we're graphing y equals 2x squared, and I'll just graph this in a different color just so we know what we're doing. If it's y equals 2x squared, I'm still at 0, 0, but instead of being at 1, 1, I'm at 1, 2. Instead of being at 2, 4, I'm at 2, 8. So what happens to the graph? It stretches by a factor of two, okay? All right, so power functions. 